Hello, Swami Gang Gang. We're playing Telltale's The Walking Dead. It's Season 1, Episode 4, Part 1. And it looks like we finally made it to Savannah. And since we made it to a new location, someone's probably going to die here. Um, so take your guesses. Who do you think it might be? Safe to say Clementine is probably safe. So she's going to be in the next game, so don't pick her. Everybody else is fair game. Oh, Mead's already practicing being a walker. I feel you, man. Lee was doing that the first time we met him. We just need to find you a doctor and you'll be walking fine. Clem, who are you looking for? What are you doing? G get back up here. Don't even think about it, Clem. You're done with the walkie-talkie for the day. You've had way too much walkie-talkie time. Can't I just hold it? No. Don't do that sad puppy dog face. You don't work on Just me. Just for a little while? No. We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. Thank you. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Okay, he needs to rest. I heard you the first time. You want to just stop right here? Let's just stop right here. Yeah, you're right. Kenny, hold up. He gonna keep walking. Kenny, God damn it! I said hold up! Omid needs to take a break. Let's give him a minute. We're almost at the river. Almost to the boats. Then it won't hurt to stop for just one damn minute. Yeah, the river ain't going anywhere, Kenny. What? What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? You got an answer for that, Kenny, or you want to shut up now? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. Of course you don't see anything, Ben! I swear I saw the assassin! I know what I saw! I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower! Someone alive! It's just gonna kill us one by one. <coughs> what now? If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. It didn't until we got close to here. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But if you're looking for ransom, I could tell you right now I don't have the money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills that I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you leave my daughter alone, that will be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you, but if you don't, I will look for you, I will find you, and I will kill you. Hello? Hello? I said answer me! What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. From me, yes. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It's Ernest Hemingway. Or maybe I should simplify it for you. Metallica! It tolls for thee. Oh my god. I think it's time to go. Oh shit! God damn it! <laughs> Run! Follow me! You know, I thought about saying run, but oh shit, it sounded so much better. Damn! Let's go, guys! For once, I'm not doing the work. Clint? Okay, I was about to say, I was like, I didn't know where you were. Keep up! Good god, Chuck! <laughs> You've been bulldozing through everybody. Oh no! Kitty fell! The walker got him! He tripped! Should I save him? I don't know. All those times he would have saved me, he took his sweet time too, so maybe I should take my sweet time. A little too close, don't you think? Now you know how it feels. Clem? Oh no. No, Ben, help her! Come on, Ben! Redeem yourself right here! You can do it, Ben! Save her! No, no! What the fuck? Oh, pussy is what he is. I'm done being nice to Ben. I'm done. He's had multiple chances, and now here I am coming in. Oh, hello. You're a little too close there. Oh, God. I've lost control. I'm getting sick. No! Let's go! Let's go, Chuck! Get her the hell out of here. I'll catch up with you. 
Are you sure? Thank you, Chuck. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell is Chuck? Being a goddamn hero is what he's doing! Look at him go! We should go back and help him! He's in trouble! We gotta help him! Yes! Oh, me gets it! If it wasn't for your bum leg, we would have gone in there and saved him! There's no time! We gotta go! Now! I'll be fine! Just go! Godspeed, Chuck! Godspeed! Chuck's gonna die. <laughs> he sacrificed himself for us. We're not even worth it. <laughs> this is the saddest group of people I have ever seen together in a group. Just, he got Ben's bitch ass. Who, who, who's so selfish? He's so selfish. I'm done being nice to him. I don't care if he's a teenager. I do not care. I do not care. He has caused so much harm to this group. So many people have died because of him. And we almost lost Clem today because of his bitch ass. It was right there to redeem himself. Now, I don't even think he's redeemable. I draw the line when you put Clementine's life at risk. You're not the main character, Ben. Sacrifice yourself for her. You can't keep getting away with this. And don't even get me started with Kenny right now. This this has been a slow boil with him. And I, I bad had it. No boy better push my buttons today. I swear to God, all hell will break loose. I'll get the door. Oh, oh Mead! Someone get him up. Oh, I'm sorry. That's asking way too much from y'all. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've got to get him inside. Clean him up. Anything for Omid. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on Watch it. Watch your tone. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Well, I guess Kenny's not fucking helping. Let me see if I can find us a way Because here. I have to do everything around here. Everyone just gets to pretend to look like they're doing something when they're clearly not. I'm telling you, something happens to me, everybody here dies. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Yeah, I think they're slowly walking over here. They're eventually going to find us. I'll go ahead and spoil that for you. Yeah, I think maybe they did. I think so too. I'm standing guard in case they show up. We don't need to do that. We're going to be safe inside real soon. Until then, just, just stay close to me, okay? Okay. Or better yet, go ahead and sit next to Omid and Krista. They would, they would love your company. Oh. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be- No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> That's kind of funny, but at least she cares, man. Unlike Kenny. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I hope not. Other than Clementine, you're my favorite. Oh, I remember this. I need to get the dog collar. Looks like something was buried here. Yeah, it's a dog. Okay. Just a dog house. Oh, that's right. I need to get a shovel. I'm probably going to have to discover the dog door first and realize that the collar opens up the door. See, I've already played this. Oh. I would rather dig up the dead dog with my bare hands and get the dog collar than, than go over there and have to talk to Kenny and Ben. But unfortunately, I have to do that. Ben. Yeah, you know what time it is. Time to talk about what just happened. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. Mm. I just froze up. You did worse than that. Hasn't that ever happened to you? No. Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. Good, because you are on the thinnest of ice, Ben. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way.
How are you feeling? Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house. Didn't seem like you cared about it back there. Just... How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Here, let me show you. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Didn't try hard enough. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? Um, I have. I've heard of a locked doggy door. You see, I can speak on experience here because... Growing up, we had a doggy door. And before we leave, we would have to lock it so that people don't crawl into the house. It's very common. So, um, yeah. Locked doggy door. I have. See? My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> All right, so where's the dog? Oh, I think he's just inside the house sleeping. No, he's dead, Ben. I just need to find a shovel. Found the shovel. The shovel is never not useful. Oh, I guess it's the part I tell y'all. If y'all get easily squeamish, don't watch this upcoming scene. I'm about to dig up a dead dog, and he's been dead for a while, so, you know. Hey, be careful. Thanks, homie. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? You think it's alive? Yeah, I hear you. Clem, back up, sweetie. I'm gonna need you to- What's buried down there? A dead dog, Clem. Just- Why do I need an audience for this? Can y'all give me some room here? Back up! It's just a dead dog. It's not treasure. Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Chris and Omi, okay? But I want to- Just do what I say, okay? Oh, Clem's feelings are hurt. What? It's not my fault. She's been through enough. I don't want her to traumatize her even more seeing this dead dog. Oh, God, the smell. You could back up, Ben. Kenny, why? <laughs> why did you turn when I said that? That looks like you said it. Just grab the collar. Don't, don't touch the body. <clears throat> Can't get it off. Oh, no. Oh, okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Krista, are you pregnant? I'm not falling for this shit again. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. No, it's not. Are you sure you're- I said I'm fine, okay? You can't fool me with that, Krista. They try to do that shit in The Last of Us Part 2 with Dina. She was next to a dead horse. She's like, eh, the smell. That is code for pregnant. The only difference is Krista told a mead, so a mead knows she's pregnant. We just don't. Will we be inside soon? Yeah. Not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. I was kind of hoping there would be an apology button and I would just say, I'm sorry I wouldn't let you go see the dead dog. And I know your feelings are hurt, but it, I promise you it's for the best to not see it. There goes nothing. Yes! God damn! Kenny, you could have done that, you know? Instead, you were just fidgeting with the board panels. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Oh, shut up. <clears throat> it's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. Absolutely not. I think I can... <gasps> Clem! I did not tell you to go down there! You don't know what's back there! You could die! Clementine! Clem. God damn it, get back here! Clementine! Ta da! Oh my fucking god, Clem. <laughs> good job. Just good job. Good job, Clem. <laughs> yeah, way to go. Shut up, Ben! You did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Yeah, 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 come on. You know what? I'm not gonna punish Clem for being brave. She didn't have to do that. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. You can't teach bravery, and I'm not gonna punish her for being brave. It's sad that an eight-year-old is braver than most people in this group. I'm looking at you, Ben. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. 
feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? I thought you knew. Tell you what? Kenny! That it's working. I'm sorry, I thought I told you off screen. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of no. us? No! Great. That's not true! Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense! Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? You got a point. How much sense does anything make anymore? That's true, too. In case too. you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. And I'm not scared of the person who's following us. Matter of fact, I take it as a challenge. Let's rest up I here. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Omid's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. No one's stopping you from going, Kenny. You could just go find the boat on your own. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. Yeah, let me check it, because I don't trust him. <sighs> Alright, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Nah, I'm just gonna check a few doors. Why the fuck are you bossing me around? You are mentally unstable. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. You're holding her back, Lee. Let her be dangerous. If she wants to live life on the edge, let her. Just protect her. She's going through a phase right now, Lee. Just let her go through it. Oh, just because Kenny told me to, I'm checking every single door, nook and cranny, all on the first floor. Because I can cover all areas on the first floor by myself. Because in order to look on the second floor, it requires two dumbasses that we fully do not trust to look up on the second floor. Which means I, too, will have to look on the second floor as well. Hey, guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet. But so far, so good. Yeah, I'm getting on that. How's your leg feeling, Omid? How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm alright. I feel you. No, believe me, I do feel you, because we were struggling the first episode. What do you guys think about this plan of Kenny's? The guy's losing it. Thank you. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but what? you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Who said he was my friend? Kenny's solid. It's Lee! He's just been through a lot, that's He all. was like this before! Uh, you're right. For all our sakes. Lee's not right. He's not right at all. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Not exactly my style. I will not get jump scared. I will not. I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, that's right. It's not the last of us. Nothing hiding in here. Nothing's gonna jump scare me here. Alright, it's time to open up door number two. We're gonna pretend like something's in here. <laughs> Once I scared the zombie, there's nothing in here. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Why do they gotta do it like that? Why, why, why do they be like, there's just one more door? And then everything gets silent, like, like they're expecting something to be behind there. Watch, watch, they're even gonna make it dramatic too. So dramatic. Jesus! <laughs> And I thought this game was scarier the first time I played it. What? What happened? A mop tried to kill me. It's nothing. Just uh, 
nothing. This is so stupid. Why are you trying to jump scare Lee? Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. They should be done looking upstairs, right? Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. Yeah, I cut those out. I was too busy looking around. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Clem, just so you know, this is a safe space. There's no secrets here. You could tell us. Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. What? I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? Don't make it sound like it's her fault. I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? What? What do you want now? Lee, you need to get up here now. Why? What's wrong? It's Kenny. Oh my god. Ben, why did you let him go up in the attic? Just... Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Oh, did he? Went to go look. Mm. It's up there? I can't get him to come down. Did you think about going up there to check on him, or...? Stay here. Oh, that's asking too much of you, is it? Because you're a fucking coward, and you don't want to go up there and check on Kenny. He's obviously fine. If a walker was there, he would have fell down the ladder. And you would have known Kenny died. But it is Kenny. He can defend himself one-on-one. -on -one. You should have just let him up there and let him come down on his own terms, okay? He's obviously fine. I don't understand why I have to go up there and check on Kenny when you're already here. Kenny, you alive? Kenny? Oh, that's fucking creepy. Go back down, Lee. Maybe Ben was right to not come up here. Good lord. Earth to Kenny. Kenny. Kenneth. You okay, man? Hello? I know you can fucking hear me, you're not deaf! Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Kenny, that, that is not Doug. I know for a fact that's not Doug because I shot him. Oh my god. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. Kind of looks like Doug, don't he? That's part of the reason why I'm laughing. He's just a kid. <laughs> what the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I mean, backstory and everything. I don't know if I can, Lee. What? Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. Kenny, you don't have to do anything. You can just get up and leave. That's, in fact, what we should be doing right now. Kenny, man, we don't have to do this right now. Maybe we should just get out of here. He can't hurt anyone. You want to just walk away? Yep. I don't know if I can do that either. Well, what can you do, Kenny? You just want to stay up here in the attic? You know what? Let me speed things up for you. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. This could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Oh, that's sad. Y'all, I, I sound heartless right now, but I'm trying not to get emotionally attached to a zombie kid I don't even know. Just, yeah, he looks like Duck. And yes, this kid died horribly. But I don't know the zombie. I'm sorry. Damn. I killed Duck twice. <laughs> I feel I feel a lot better actually. <laughs> yeah, I chose to do it myself once again. We should bury him. I don't know who this we is. I already know I'm gonna have to do it. I'll take care of it. I will take care of it, like I always do. I'm always having to take care of your problems, Kenny. Yeah, look at him in his smushed face. Please get the fuck out of my way, Kenny. I got a dead kid to bury. I'll check the second floor of my ass. Yeah, we definitely found something here. Oh, but poor Kenny. He's so sad. Who do us ask me if I'm feeling okay? I had to kill Duck twice!
Ridley, please stop looking at the dead kid. I, I get that this scene's supposed to be emotional, but they're just overdoing it a little bit. If, if you really wanted to sell it to me, make the kid not look like Duck, and I would have been like, oh my god, this kid, this poor kid, he starved to death. No, but since he looks like Duck, I don't like Duck, so now I'm attaching him to Duck, and that's not fair to this kid. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that Kenny forced his trauma onto your, your last dying zombie days. At least you get to rest in peace with your best friend here. Um, okay. Oh, they're really gonna make me actually physically bury him. Okay. Okay. This is, uh, this is depressing. This is very depressing. Stop looking at him, Lee! I meant to grab the shovel. Grab the shovel, please. Okay. Okay. Here lies man's best friend and his best friend. Um, I wish I knew more about this kid, but like Kenny, I'll make a backstory about him too, but only the times when he was alive here. You see, this kid looked like he had it all. Everything he wanted, palm of his hands. He, has, he had man's best friend here too. Unfortunately, the way he died is just with nothing. Absolutely nothing, it's sad. Clem, please go back inside the house. You shouldn't have to watch me do this. Go back inside the house. Krista, please bring Clementine back inside the house. No one needs to see this. In fact, Kenny should be out here with us, but he's not. He's probably still up in the attic. Where the fuck is Kenny at? He said we were going to bury him. I'm the only one burying him. What is this bullshit? I didn't want to bury this kid in the first place. I just wanted to leave him up in the attic. So stupid. Why are they making me bury every single sh- Oh my god! <laughs> Hey! Sir! Hey! Sir! You can't do that to me! I completely forgot he showed up like that. <laughs> Just... Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? I want a name! Lee, what's going on? They're watching us. Every little move that we make. How long have they been watching us? And how does he know how to teleport? I saw someone standing there by the fence. Watching us. A walker? No, no dumbass! Too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? A man. Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. A look who decided to show up finally to the funeral. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I don't know! I'm sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? Like that kid? No thanks. <laughs> I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Oh my god. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only gonna get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? No. You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Or kill us. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. I'll tell you this, Clem. You stay here, and if I find your parents, I'll bring them back to you. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Oh. I know. It it's just this once. Just bring her, Lee. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. Clem, you're in charge, okay? 
What? So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Yep. I don't know why you're so vocal all of a sudden, but you better be lucky your ass is breathing right now. I can't even trust you. No offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed to not take offense to that? What am I, a liability? You're worse than that. You're actually the main source of all of our problems. Great. Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you've pulled. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, you should have just saved Clementine, buddy. You you would have done yourself a favor. But no, you're a little scaredy cat and selfish. You don't get to be outside with the big boys.